John, don't start this. Hello folks, this is the Tassie Wargamer here, it's Darren and John. Um, we are repeating last week's game. We had such a great time and, uh, and I performed so poorly when it came to dice rolls as well as strategy. Um, we thought we'd give it another go. So if you remember from last week, I have an 88 here. I am the Germans. Um, John, with his American paratroopers, um, have the, the better Force morale, he rolled a nine, or oh, sorry, his, he rolled and yeah, got a nine, I rolled a low one, so I'm starting with eight. Less of a gap than last week. Um, from last week's game, the German deployment line, uh, sorry, the patrol mark line started here. This time we thought to give the Americans a little bit more opportunity to get up the table. Um, the Germans started along this road rather than mid table which meant John got a little bit further along with his patrol markers. A little thing we noticed was that he, that allowed him, from that patrol marker up there, to actually deploy um, his first machine gun team, which was one of his straggler teams, across the table. Now we thought, because they wouldn't have just deployed, the, the, the machine guns here that are off the table would still have been firing during John's deployment. They were, they were told to fire it basically just indiscriminately down the road. So we rolled the 10 dice for the machine gun. There were four hits, John rolled, but what we decided was they wouldn't be killed. Any roll, any successful hits would just be shot. So that unit of three men with a mini machine gun, um, uh, I've taken four shock and already buttoned. John's just put another straggler unit on, which was a, a, uh, a squad, and he's got another squad of stragglers, plus his two regular squads to come on as well. So. So that table was set up very similar to last week. Um, we had a lot of fun, so we're playing it again. Keep them falling out of the four inch. No worries, they're skirting around. So after our patrol phase, we've started to get some figures onto the table. Um, John is starting to move his, uh, one of his squads, the senior leaders already come onto the table. Uh, he's got another, where's your other machine gun squad that you had? John came on their own. Uh, uh, they're here. Oh, okay. He's got another squad here who's, they've managed, they've successfully got across the table, but they did take a little bit of shock. I have got two squads, one guarding a clearing here. I'm not sure if that clearing is really a good strategic point, but you know me, I'm never one for strategy. <laughs> and, uh, and another one here. Uh, I've got my, my 88 just sitting there. Um, and that's it for me. I haven't got, I, I've had the opportunity to put more onto the table, but I have uh, opted not to so far. Oh, so I'll just put him back. The game is ticking along at a cracking pace today. Um, John was threatening my deployment point, so I ended up bringing this, this unit on, reverse their deployment point, and at a later time, I managed to get my machine, medium machine gun and tripod on too putting a lot of firepower into John's team that was here, uh, sorry, John's squad that was here. Had the rifle team of that squad have now bolted. Um, he is bringing a straggler um, rifle team on, obviously to come into the command of that officer. Bear in mind that they're still a straggler team, so at any point they may, well not any point, but at the end of the turn, they may leave the table. Or if John um, keeps rolling double sixes, they, and then has another unlucky roll after that, they could also leave the table. This group here is doing quite well. John's still got a little bit of strength over on that side of the table. Um, but these guys haven't even um, fired a shot in anger yet. <laughs> Falling up reasonably well. It's a great scenario. John's orders are, uh, ooh, he's got three, so oh, that's, when, you, when the game's in the balance, folks, if you know um, Shane of Command, when you've only got one senior leader, the last thing you want is to be rolling fours. Um, fives are okay because it adds to your chain of command dice. One six is useless. Two sixes is okay because you get the next turn. Fours, if you've only got the one senior leader, there's nothing you can do. You can't add a one and a four to make um, fives or, or, or sixes. All you can do is use a four for your senior leader. So when you get multiple fours, they're wasted. So out of only five dice, three or two of them are wasted for John. Now let's look at the table. I've got a nice little, this is this is really is quite a, um, an intensive area here. I have got 
one team that's been here, uh, sorry, one set squad that's been here right from the beginning that's slowly being whittled down. They've lost their officer, so I had to roll on the on the table for that, and I took uh, two points of um, two points off off my um, uh, force morale. But they're being backed up by a pretty uh, good um, medium machine gun. And then we've got this other squad here. Uh, sorry, this other yeah other squad here who. Not realising for John, John brought his straggler, his team of rifle stragglers over here to assault this position. However, they became um, in line of sight. These guys were on overwatch. They're within four inches of, the, remember this is all woods, four inches, so they caught a lot of fire. I think I've got these guys to fire too. My senior leader is here. So he has got basically all, of the, he got all these guys to fire at this, this area here. And then I also had a three, so I've got this senior leader, to, uh, sorry, this junior leader to fight, put some fire in over here. As you can see, John's all three teams here now have been pinned, and they're really getting a shot. So, okay, because they're pinned, they're going to heart into a uh, strong cover, they're now in heavy cover, but any of their firing is greatly reduced, and their trick is to get over to here to get an 88. What I would suggest to John is if he was to end the turn, some of his straggler teams might disappear. Well, he's only got one straggler team left, I think. But it may disappear. And in response, he may end up being yeah. able to bring on some other stra some brand new stragglers that aren't going to have the shock on them. It's a great game. Well, quite static, but it's a lot of fun. Because there's just so much fire being poured on. We'll see how it goes. Another big blow to the Americans here. As you can see, there's a team here. They have just broke and, and ran away. Um, that was the remnants of the team, of the section of the squad that was here. They lost their machine gun. Um, took a lot of firepower, again, from a rifle team, machine gun team, and my um, medium machine gun team there with a senior leader, which in the end, having that same senior leader there was very advantageous. It just means being a leading, uh, the leading senior leader Oh, the ranking senior leader, he had four, so he was just constantly taking off any, well, most of the shock that was applied and then activating activating them. Um, he also had that other team nearby, the other squad nearby, who now knowing that their flank is secure, have moved up to put a little bit more pressure on the remnants of John's force here. All John can hope for here at this point is to use his chain of command dice to end a turn with the hope that he gets to bring on another team. It's looking pretty good for the Germans at this point. The 88, I don't know what it's doing, whether it's firing just down the, no, it's covering this bridge, it's covering the bridge, and they're, um, they're being unhassled at the moment. We've been playing for about, we've been playing for about four hours. Um, John has managed to roll a double, he is down to four, Command dice, water dice, and um, he just managed to roll a double six, uh, then a one, so he got managed to bring another unit, and that, then he rolled a six, so he has managed to bring another assault um, team on uh, to try to break past my group here. Um, over here, these two have just closed in, no close combat yet, but um, certainly starting to put a bit of shock on each other, uh, sort of. And off to the side is another group, and I've still got my machine, medium machine gun here. Let's see how it goes. Okay, um, sorry about that, but the video that I thought I had taken for the closing remarks of that game um, weren't to be. I couldn't find them, so I got a feeling I hadn't pressed the button quite right on my phone. However, uh, not long after that, the, the last scene you've just just watched um the game finished um john's right flank where he had the the last of his his machine gun his senior and junior officer um my my um medium machine gun that i'd taken up to the road i'd used a turn to move it uh, angle it you know, change their their facing um and a little while i think a few turns later um, I managed to get that machine gun to fire onto the, his right, the remnants of his right flank. 
um, and I ended up killing both his senior and his junior leader. Um, and there was something that happened as well at the very end that um, that got him down to zero, finishing the game. So you might have heard us talking about stragglers and thinking, what is that all about? You won't find anything about stragglers in the main rule book. However, that um, scenario that we played has a, um, a few special rules in it. Um, I'll... I think it's called Wiz, Wiz of a Wiz, something like that, wasn't it? Um, you saw from last week's one. Really, really good scenario. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, I think the US Airborne are always going to have um, are going to have difficulties. Uh, depending if you play on a six by four and you're going a long ways, you know, down the table, um, it's going to be tough because really those Germans with their machine guns and if they can have uh, mutually supportive fire, you know, one covering the other, it's going to be really hard. After we played that game, John and I was, we were probably not using covering fire well enough. So what we did is we just, I got my medium machine gun, John got a, a squad, and we just got, I just got him, I, I went on to Overwatch, I just got John, or John um, did some covering fire with one team, moving, um, moving, uh, uh, tactically with the other team and we he just kept on doing that now that's something we definitely should be doing more often because once I fire I'm not always going to be able to get back onto Overwatch so I'm not always going to be react be able to react to every single move that he makes same time just using one to cover while the other one moves one to cover the, while the other one moves um, while putting covering fire on makes makes hitting harder and it makes doing damage harder to uh, when 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 you're firing at somebody on um on tactic moving tactically. So that's the trick, is to move put covering fire and move tactically. I think um, we played it again. It may well be that rather than just trying to take on the Germans, that the Americans just try to sneak past tactically, trying to get through with minimum um, uh, hits, and then just keep moving through their thin their thin defensive line to take out the 88. Anyway, sorry I didn't get that last video, but um, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Next week will be Chain of Command with a different scenario. Thanks again. Goodbye.